Is 2023 too late for you to start a YouTube channel? Let's talk about it on today's episode of The Good Agent. Welcome, I'm your host, Ed Troxel. And before we dive into this topic, is 2023 too late for you to have a YouTube channel? Let's make sure that you're on our email list. That's right, a free email once a week that gets sent to your inbox that is easy to scan, visually pleasing, by the way, and has tips, tricks, and resources for you on running your business more effectively and efficiently here online. We cover everything from social media to marketing and tools that can help make your life so much easier in your business. Be sure to use the link down below to sign up for Handle Your Business Weekly. Now, for today's episode, let's talk about, is 2023 too late for you to have a YouTube channel? The answer is no, it's not too late. It will be too late if you keep putting it off. That's when it will be too late. What you want to do is you want to focus, focus your energy on the task at hand. And if 2023 is your year to start getting better at video marketing and being able to create a YouTube channel to upload your videos to, well then 2023 is your year to have a YouTube channel. It's your year for video marketing. Now let me break this down for you because YouTube is very complex and so is video marketing if it's not broken down for you. So let's let's break that down. I'm going to walk you through what I call the video journey. It's a roadmap that I have created that breaks everything down into five steps. The first step is starting. First, you have to give yourself that permission to start. So if this is your year to get better at video, or in some cases, start creating video, then that's where you're starting. You're starting to give yourself permission. The next step in this video journey is planning. This is where you're going to work on your mindset, your time management, your actual planning of what you want to talk about. What are you going to say? Where are you going to say it? What's the call to action? All of these pieces are underneath this planning stage. The next step is going to be record. Where are you recording? What device are you using to record? What do you need to record? Like all of these different pieces of the puzzle will be housed underneath this stage. Then you go into the fourth step, which is sharing. Where are you sharing your content? Is it only going to be shared on your YouTube channel in this case? Or are you going to share it on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn? Where do you want to share this? And also understanding that this doesn't have to live on just one platform. It can live on multiple platforms. Now, the fifth and final stage of the video journey, this one is where you're probably already jumping to, but you haven't done steps one through four yet. So step number five is the scaling part. Scaling covers paid advertising, YouTube optimization, and really diving deep into the video marketing world. Now, if you've tried to go from zero to 100, you've experienced that it doesn't work and it's frustrating and you're not seeing any results because you jumped from zero, which is start, to scale, which is step number five. You didn't take the time to learn steps one through four and you didn't take the time to get good at steps one through four. You just decided to throw a video up on a YouTube channel in this example and maybe put some money behind it for paid ads hoping that the world would see it and you would get a hundred clients from it or a million views or whatever your goal is. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. You have to go through the steps of the video journey in order to see real results and really to have a good positive experience with video. So that's the video journey. And if that's of interest to you, and this is your year for creating video and you wanna get better at creating video and making sure that you're not only doing it right, but that you're providing value and sharing it in the right places so that the right eyeballs can see it, then I invite you to reach out. Let's have a conversation around your video journey and how my program, The Video Advantage, 
could help you with that. The Video Advantage is a 30-day video coaching program where you get the best of both worlds. You get one-on-one -on -one coaching with me and an online course that's specifically designed with you in mind to provide you with actionable steps that you can learn and implement. There's no fluff. This is a very specific program for a very specific individual who wants to learn how to get better at video yes. and attract more qualified leads so they can close more deals using video. If that's of interest to you, message me anytime at edtroxel.com or anywhere you find me on social. And we'll talk about how you can get the video advantage over your competition. Now to recap this episode is 2023 too late for you to start a YouTube channel? The answer is no, but stop putting it off. If YouTube is a channel that you want to start marketing on, then you need to start today and you need to start focusing on getting your channel set up, planning out your content, figuring out what you're going to record, when you're going to record it, and when you're going to share it. And then once you've done this enough and gotten good at actually producing the content on a regular basis, then you can start to move on to getting it optimized and putting paid ads behind it. But don't jump to scaling, which is stage five of the video journey, if you haven't gotten good at stages one through four. And if having a YouTube channel is not in your cards for this year, that's okay. But don't let that stop you from creating your videos it is so important for you to record your video content and produce videos on a regular basis for your marketing as a whole, because every single platform you're on is requiring video content and it's no longer optional. So whether you want a YouTube channel in 2023 or not, you still need to create video content and focus on getting good at steps one through four in the video journey. And don't worry about getting to stage number five just yet. If you need help, reach out. I'm here for you. And this has been an episode of The Good Agent.